name is Max Blaschild. I'm an engineer with Coinbase Custody. I am extremely excited to be here today. And as you can see, my talk is titled, Smart Contract Interaction Out of the Cold Distance Storage. So at Coinbase Custody, we provide friction as a feature. We introduce barriers that make it extremely difficult for attackers to steal our customer's funds. We take our private keys, shard them up into many, many pieces, and store them completely offline. We only use any given address once to sign transactions, and then we roll over the customer's funds to a new address. And we also have a very talented ops team who personally verify each transaction. So these features differentiate ourselves from our competitors. They are the reason why more people choose us to hold their crypto than any other custodian on the planet. And so we support many currencies, but as the most successful smart contract platform, Ethereum provides unique challenges to how our system works. So, you know, our top of the line security comes out of the box, you know, you're either safe, but we natively struggle to do some of the things that make Ethereum the most exciting platform. So as far as interacting with contracts that require high uh, transaction throughput, like uh, governance or gaming or you name it, you know, since it takes a non-trivial amount of time for us to reconstruct our keys, you know, we struggle to do that. <coughs> You know, and for interacting with smart contracts like uh, edgeware signaling that require funds to stay put, uh, we simply can't support that out of the box since we roll over our funds to a new address every time we sign transactions. But at Coinbase Custody, we take a cue from my manga hero, Yame Hero, and we surpass our limits right here, right now. So how do we do that? I will introduce to you the proxy smart contract pattern that we use. So using this pattern, we can continue to provide world-class security while also giving our users a frictionless user experience. So how does it work? Let's say we want to let our customers partic participate in maker governance. What a coincidence. <laughs> so whenever we approach a new integration, we start by writing a customized proxy contract that fits around the external contract like a club. So as you can see, there aren't really a lot of bells and whistles. You know, we just create a thin facade over the external contract, and we call the external contract methods using the proxy contract as the identity. And so when we onboard a new customer to one of these integrations, we start by pairing them with a hot address with a tiny bit of ether in it, uh, just to make contract calls and pay gaps. Uh, we then use that hot address to deploy a contract on behalf of the customer. And we designate a new cold storage address, the return address, that the funds will ultimately arrive at. And so once the contract is deployed, we move the customer's full balance of either either or tokens to the contract, depending on what it's trying to do. And once the funds are in the contract, the fund can really begin. Um, we can use the hot address to make as many quick and risk-free contract calls to the external contract as possible, using the proxy as the bridge. Um, since the proxy has the customer's full balance, uh, they don't find their influence on any of these networks diminished. So if you're voting for maker governance, you're voting with all your maker. If you're signaling for edgeware signaling, you're signaling with all your maker. It's they're, they're still able to wield the full heft of their currency. And when customers are done interacting with the proxy contracts, we call that previously shown release method, which will send the funds back to safety and cold storage. So with this, con with this pattern, we're able to smash our limits. We're able to continue to provide world-class security while also giving our users a frictionless customer experience while interacting with external contracts. Our anime hero, Yame Sukihiro, is proud. So that's my talk. Thanks for listening. My name is Max. Thank you.